the oceans it celebrates were men. One of them was Jalaluddin Rumi, a brilliant scholar from a long line of scholars. The other was Shams of Tabriz, a solitary dervish in his late 60s. One day, Shams walked right up to the eminent young scholar and addressed him in a very familiar fashion, as if they were acquainted. What are you doing? Nothing you would understand, replied the scholar, without even glancing up. In a single sweeping gesture of his hands, the stranger toppled all the books into the fountain. The scholar was aghast. You need irreplaceable manuscripts, one of them written in his father's own hand. What have you done, he cried. Nothing you would understand, replied Shams, and with that, the stranger reached into the fountain and took out the books. Each one was undamaged and dry as a bone. Now, stunned, the scholar looked up at last and met the other's eyes, and a look passed between them. Some of the disciples present spoke of a golden light, but whether that light was visible or not, what was contained in that gaze was surely initiation. They say Rumi entered a mystical state of union, a state of ego annihilation that the Sufis call Fana. What I had thought of before as God, said Rumi, I met today as a human being. They're lovers again, sugar dissolving in milk, day and night, no difference. The sun is the moon. The essence and the evolving forms run to meet each other, like children to their mother and father. Shams, my body is a candle touched with fire. Johns of Tabriz is one of the most elusive and mysterious figures ever to appear on this planet. A madman lover of God, a king and a dervish, he spent years wandering the Near East looking for a companion, a friend on his own spiritual level of attainment. When Shams was still in the company of his own master, there was a fellow student who'd record every experience in poetry and prose. One day, the master turned to Shams and, pointing to the fellow student, said, Secrets and experiences are revealed to him. Is nothing revealed to you? Shams answered, O oh, master, I have countless experiences, possibly more than he, but I do not have the science to clothe them in words. The teacher smiled compassionately and stated, God will provide you a disciple, and in your name he will tell the truth from beginning to end. He will clothe it in words and sounds. Shams prayed to God, show yourself to me in human form. What will you give in return? My head. Ah, replied the Lord. The one you are looking for is Jalaluddin Rumi. Like this, a bargain was struck in the invisible world. 